Our opinion is on page 27 of the school book. All the dates will come before you. And our liturgy starts on page 11 in the Greek book. All the faithful come before you, holy virgin fair, bowing low before your light, one whom your name is Glory we give to you, our prayer and pleading here, in your love. And our death is near. Never abandon your children. Keep us free from fear. Glory we give to you. Our prayer and pleading here. In your loving intercession, Lord. Never abandon your children, keep us free from fear. Mother of our Lord and Savior, Mother of us all, help us in our needful moments, this our prayer recalls. Glory we give to you, our prayer and pleading here. Be our loving intercessor when our death is near. Never abandon your children, keep us free from fear. Blessed is thy kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from our high and to the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and the dignity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy.
and receive the victors crown from God himself, now and ever, and forever, amen. Today all mortal nature radiates divinity at the divine transfiguration, and cries out with gladness, Christ is transfigured, saving all. For in love, holy our God, we give glory to you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, ever, ever. Amen. O holy God, O holy and mighty, O holy and immortal, have mercy on us, O holy God, O holy and mighty, O holy and immortal, have mercy on us, O holy God, O holy and mighty, O holy and immortal, have mercy on us, glory to the Hallelujah, 
responsibility and so we see that we need to become in fact very adult very mature we have to provide for this new person for their whole lives and this is indeed a great task a great responsibility that is given to us but the Lord is the one who provides which is something we also learn from the reading we just heard the Lord is the one who provides. Our parish secretary, Louise, is always telling me that God will provide. <laughs> when the parish is, is faced with difficult tasks, she tells me, the Lord will provide. And the Lord does, but he does not always provide as we expect him to, you know, not as we think it will go. And that gospel story we just heard is certainly an extraordinary example of that. Jesus provides for the payment of the temple tax. But just an aside here, why does he even do that? He had just 
explained to Peter how, in terms of justice, he didn't need to pay the temple tax. Why not? Well, he's the son of God. He's the, he, and in, when he's in the temple, he's in his own house. If you have to pay a tax to live in your own house, well, here you do. But that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> to live in your own house. It's yours, you know. And uh, so Jesus didn't have to pay any tax as the son of God, as the son of the father, you know, whose temple it was. But he's not only concerned with justice. Remarkably, Jesus cares about more than justice. He also does not want to disedify the people. He wants to edify the people. He wants to go beyond doing justice and wants to edify them, wants to bless them, lift them up, inspire them, inspire those who should pay the tax to pay the tax, if even he is doing so as example. And this is, again, how should we regard our children? Well, we need to do more than just justice by them. We need to go beyond that. We need to edify them. We need to be a good example for them, for not just providing for their needs. These are the anxieties that swirl around in our heads when we have children sometimes. Oh, I have to provide for this person's needs, for their food, for their health care, for their education, for their shelter, for their clothing. Yes, 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 yes. True. But go beyond that. Be an example. Edify them. Live a godly life also. Jesus wants us to go beyond justice and also to edify one another. So he provides for this temple tax for the sake of edification and not for the sake of justice. He provides it. And how does he provide it? In the most bizarre way I can imagine. <laughs> he tells Peter, you heard, to go take a line throw it into the water, go fishing, Peter. Peter's a fisherman, he's a good fisherman. So he tells Peter to go fishing, and Peter goes fishing, and he says that you'll, you'll catch a fish, and inside the fish, you'll find the money to pay the temple tax. Now, talk about an unforeseen, unforeseen and unforeseeable way of God providing for us. But he'll do it. He'll find a way. It'll be his way, though, not the way that we expect. Today I was cleaning off my desk, a much-needed task. And while I was cleaning off the desk yesterday, speaking of the Lord providing, I found some old lottery tickets that hadn't been scratched yet. So, scratch those. Oh, but they were all duds. You know, I expected that would be the way the Lord would provide. But then I kept cleaning today, and uh, I found uh, a card there that someone had given me, and it was full of cash. <laughs> and it had been buried beneath the mountain of paperwork. So the Lord provided in a way that I didn't expect. He gives to us, not the way we look for him to, but he gives to us. He will provide. We need to grow in our trust of the Lord. And this extends even to the most precious things in our lives, even to our own children, to recognize that they are his children, first and foremost, and that he will provide for them, through us, in and through us, yes, but that he's the provider of all the good things that we have to share with our children. Glory to Jesus Christ. Slava Jesus Christ. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, O oh, Lord, have mercy. O oh, Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. O oh, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O oh God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father Francis, Pope of Rome, and for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, 
for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our common bed and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Sing the thrice holy hymn to 
the life creating Trinity. Now set aside all earthly care. Let us who mistakes we represent the cherubim and seek the bright holy name through the light Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. 
earth, all things visible and invisible. And that one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, light from light through God, from true God. Because God not made one in essence with the Father, through whom all things remain. For us and for our salvation, you came down from heaven. And the most incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified by all the summer Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of light, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets, and more holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess no message to form the redemption of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the light of the world to come. Let us stand to right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to our good of the land of love and peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God and Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We
gave thanks and first sanctified, broke and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, he took the child's half of supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you out of many, for the remission of sin. Amen. Remembering that for this saving command, all that has come to pass in our behalf, to cross the tomb and resurrection on the third day, he ascended into heaven, sitting at the right hand of the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and ever. We praise you. We Lord have mercy. That this holy 
thy perfect holy peace, for the love sinners beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, peaceful, and for life, and for a good account. Before the fierce and judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another in our own life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you, O Master, who love us all, we commit our whole life and hope. And we implore, pray, and entreat you to make us worthy to partake. With a clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table, may they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation, and make us worthy of us that we may have confidence in without condemnation. Dear call you, Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. And in the greatness of your mercy, you have brought all things out of non existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you. For they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth for the good of all the path that lies ahead, according to the need of each. Sail those who sail, travel with those who travel. Cure those who are sick, full position of souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father.
You are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mysteries, your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss to the Judas, the light of faith I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray may be worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, the sinner. O God, come to my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without my birth. The Thomas man will be remembered forever. Evil news he will not fear. Evil news he will not fear. Oh, Oh, 
to your servants, all the descendants of Melvin and Sarah, and to your servants Rachel, and to all Christians of the true faith, grant, O Lord, many years. God grant them many years. God grant them many years. God grant them many blessed years. Christian health and happiness, and health and happiness. God grant them many Christ, Father, Jesus Christ, you are Christ, Father. 